The following is a presentation of Santa Monica College. Hello and welcome to Corsair Pavilion, where your women Corsairs will take on the Bakersfield Renegades. Renegades coming in with a 14 and 9 record, whereas your Corsairs have a 17 and 8, winning six of their last six. Also, don't forget the Corsairs are coming in five and zero oh in the conference, so yes. it's going to be one heck of a game, in my opinion. What about yours? Yes. Oh, it will. It will definitely be one heck of a game. Both teams evenly matched up, not only in terms of scores, but in terms of size as well. Oh, well, time for basketball. Yes. For a little bit. Oh, yeah. And the Corsair women control the tip. Dangerous cross-court pass to a Chavez. Chavez unable to hit the shot. Most Seca, right place, right time with the offensive rebound. Wow. First one of the first one of the night. And that is a Chavez with the putback. Off the pass from Mosu Seca. Oh, beautiful oh. rip through from Kennedy Nielsen. Unfortunately, Mosu right there for the block. Milamed, <laughs> easy pull up mid range. Hits it. One heck of a player. Short, but very dangerous. Yes. A very good shooter. And she can get hot like nobody's business. Ooh, surveying the floor. Tevelde, unable to hit the shot, but it is out of bounds off of <coughs> Caitlin Flores for SMC. I'm sorry. For you, you okay there? <laughs> I'll, I'll need to have my personal assistant get me some water. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we don't have personal assistants here. I wish we did. <laughs> yeah, so do I. <laughs> Lamed. And that is Olvera with the miss. Lauren Davis wide open on the side. Not a very good looking shot. Mosu Seca, wow, flying in for the rebound and she easily puts it up and in. Oh, up and down. Rookie mistake. Marissa Figueroa, the sophomore guard, turning the ball over, scared most likely by the, by the mere presence of Mosu Seca. <laughs> and a turnover for SMC. Ooh, Jessica Malamed correctly predicting which way the Renegades player was going to go. Cuts her off, prevents the drive. Oh, my God. Mm. Huh. By herself. Beautiful off-ball movement from Mackenzie Tavelde as she gets the easy layup. Rosu Seca with the three. Oh, almost hits it. Davis Lauren with a Davis. steal. Going behind the back now. Oh, oh what, a, what an incredible steal from and number 30, Kennedy Nielsen. Yes, and the save. Ah, oh, she takes the shot, but she's unable to hit. Shot is wide open. As Caitlin Flores brings the ball up the floor. I don't know what she thought she was doing. Uh, but she did it. No, she, did. <laughs> she did it. Yeah. Learn from it and move and on. She hits the floor hard. Oh. And that is, oh, that is a missed three from Angie Kroger. Jessica Malamed, oh, unable to hit. A very fast-paced game so far. Oh, and that is Kennedy Nielsen. Oh, no good. Unable to convert on the scoop layup. <laughs> Out of bounds. Yeah, Mackenzie Tavelli, almost as tall as. Almost as tall as. Seca. Oh, yes, Mosu Seca standing at, at a good 6 3 in height as the Renegades get the offensive rebound and immediately throw it out of bounds. I don't know who they were passing it to. <laughs> because the wall <laughs> is not a teammate of theirs. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Malamed brings the ball up the floor. Oh, she is getting trapped right now, right? As she crosses half court. Oh, okay. Uh, interesting defensive scheme coming from these Renegades. Oh. 
as the, as the head coach for the Renegades uh, tells tells the uh, tells the referee what she thinks the call should be. <laughs> Every coach does that. <laughs> Angie Croker, number twelve, receives a hard imp hard collision with Musaseka. Mm -hmm. Good thing she's standing though. Mm -hmm. Angie Kroger hurting that tailbone. She is stretching it off. Seca going in. Mm-hmm. Losi Seca. And it's good. It's her free throw. when your center can hit their free throws. Yep. Lauren Davis with the rebound. Good possession from Santa Monica. They limit Baker's field. Ooh. Oh, Lauren Davis turns the ball over. Oh! oh. And that is Caitlin Flores <laughs> I'm telling getting, you, getting vicious. Super Bowl, see, super, her Super Bowl feet were yes. still here, even with the women. I'm looking, I'm seeing, maybe just wow. seeing, but I'm seeing. Kennedy Nielsen must have insulted her mother with the way she went after yeah, her. Exactly. But I'm seeing a bit of a, of a bit of a fast paced kind of game right now. I think she's oh, just throwing yeah, it down. You have to lead. And forth. Yeah. You have to lead. Point it down a little bit. Find a rhythm first. Yes. <laughs> Only four minutes have elapsed in this game. And uh, easily, what, what would you say, eight, nine possessions for each squad? Yes. And there's a lot of stealing going on right here. Yes. So that's looking good on both teams. Mm. Good quality rebound from number five, Tristan Salazar as she, she also brings the ball up the floor. Oh! oh, and that is a missed shot coming out of Kennedy Nielsen. Nice deflection from Salazar. Figueroa with the, with the free throw pull up, and she hits it. <laughs> what was that? Oh, hoping to find someone. Mm -hmm. She only found Nielsen Casper. in the corner. Oh, unable to hit the up and under. Santa Monica doing a pretty good job of limiting offensive rebounds as Caitlin Flores pushes off on Nielsen and gets away with it. Wow. And these girls must know each other, man. <laughs> that is just, wow. I mean, they are conference rivals, and yeah. <laughs> Only uh, unlike the men's game. Oh, and the head coach for Bakersfield is showing the ref uh, what what Caitlin did, how she pushed off. Well, Chavez with the ball. You you always want to guard the inbounds woman, and that is something that did not happen right there. Unfortunately, Chavez was unable to convert on the shot. But a... But another foul coming out on the Renegades. Chavez, Suseka. Oh, most Suseka, nice move. Flores, ah, unable to hit the, unable to hit the baseline. Fade away. Oh, and that's a very poor turnover as Chavez with the ball. Oh, and she's going all the way. Oh, and she gets it blocked out of bounds. Head coach, Bakersfield, Paula Dahl, being very loud and proud, very vocal. Yes. First, in the last few minutes of the game. Lauren Davis.
Boy, I tell you, if she could dunk it, every shot of hers would be a dunk. The girl is just, is just incredible to watch. It's, a, it's almost like LeBron out there, you know? Just too big, too strong. And a trap coming out. Ooh, the trap worked. As Katya Chavez turns the ball over, throwing it directly to a Renegades player. And that is Rivera being blocked by Seca on one end. Malamed with the, ah, is not able to convert on the free throw jumper. Figueroa with possession. Passes it off to Kroger. And that is Rivera in the corner. Unable to hit the shot. Kroger's been a little bit too yeah. hesitant when she wants to do a, a, a three-point shot. She's just uh, she's thinking about it too much. She just gives, gives it away. A bit of a note there. That's what mm -hmm. I've been noticing from her. Might, <coughs> might be that she's a little uncomfortable. That little incident she had earlier with the tailbone. But oh, yes, yes. I wonder if, if we'll see her, you know, step in it and try to take a charge in the remainder of this game. Or, or do you think that that incident uh, will, will prevent her from doing that? Uh, maybe not. I just, I just feel like that it, w it was a hard collision. So yes. that, it could prevent her from many things. But uh, from the looks of it, she's probably she, took it she's up. Fine. She's fine. Yeah. She's fine. Okay. What, what is, uh, you know... Six and a half minutes have elapsed so far. The score is 10 to eight, favor of the Corsairs. Uh, what, what is something that you would like to see them do differently? Oh, as Malamed, bit of a push there. As Malamed turns the ball over. I disagree with that one, actually. But what was your question again? What, what, what is something that you would like to see these teams, either team really, or both of them, do differently? Because it's, it has been a rather um, turnover-prone game so far. You said it all, turnover prone. That says it all. Pretty much can, it's, uh, maintain possession of the ball. Don't give it away so easily. Just have the ball with you. If you have the point lead, just kind of just have it with you. Don't as play at a fast pace. As Olvera misses her shot, and SMC is out on the break. Malamed surveying the floor. Lauren Davis at the high post. Lauren Davis, beautiful spin move. Oh, unable to convert on the left-handed hook shot. Renegades out in transition. Olvera, oh my God, throws it to her teammate on the wing. <laughs> As Kroger lets the ball hit her shin and fly out of bounds. Another, another turnover. Oh. And that was Janae Cole, unable to hit on her three-point try. Janae Cole and Michaela Chandler both in the game for the Corsairs. Malamed out on the break. She looks to take it all the way. She doesn't. And Chavez with the ball. She gets stuck in the corner. Oh, my God, and a very poor pass. Almost turns the ball over. Good deflection from Belen Rivera. Marissa Figueroa and Kennedy Nielsen back in the game for these Renegades. <laughs> and a turnover. <laughs> wow. Wow, indeed. And a turnover from Jessica Malamed as she stares at the ref in disbelief. Out of bounds for the Renegades. Nielsen brings it in. Ooh, okay. And a missed three-point shot. Oh, but a rebound. A rebound from number 32, Mackenzie Tevelde, as she is letting these Corsairs know who is in charge down there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still 10-10 at this point. It's both teams' game. No one's in charge as of yet. 
Uh, they've they've been taking charges though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. But of course, like I said, at the end of it, it's the score line that, that yes. matters. You could be having the worst game of your life and maybe win it. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, Tavelde hits the free throw, puts the Renegades up one. Figueroa with the foul on Malamed. Ooh, Michaela Chandler does not opt for the three-pointer. Passes it off to Malamed, who is a known sharpshooter, oh. and she hits from outside. Great shot. Renegades bring the ball up the floor. Ooh, and that is Nielsen with a, ah. She was not able to hit. Oh! Marissa Figueroa with the answer down at the other end. Could this be another back and forth game? Renegades up by one, going with the full court press. Lauren Davis able to get the ball out to Mosaseka. Lauren Davis driving, that is what she does best. Does not try to shoot though. Jessica Malamed with the ball now. Almost turns it over, wow. We are seeing some very sloppy play on this possession from the Corsairs. There, there is only seven seconds left in the shot clock. Mosaseka now has to make something happen, and she doesn't. Two seconds left on the shot clock, though. Corsairs can pretty much only hope for a uh, to get the ball in and immediately shoot it. I definitely expect Mosaseka. Oh, oh my God! Oh, what a recovery! That was Mosaseka. Beautiful inbounds play from Santa Monica. <coughs> Caitlin Flores set to check back in for the Corsairs. Oh, even with Malamed in front of her, she still missed. For McKenzie, she, yeah, unable to, unable to hit the easy putback. Malamed driving, nice crossover. Loses oh. her hand a, a little bit. That's just incidental contact, folks, nothing to see. Yeah, <laughs> everybody owed. <laughs> Malamed with a deep three. Oh. Oh. Figueroa gets the ball, end of the first quarter. Your Corsairs lead the Renegades by a score of 15 to 14. Quiet Chester? <laughs> There's a lot of ups and downs in this one, but definitely yes. mainly a lot of ups. Definitely the yes. both teams really need to maintain possession, as I said earlier. A lot of turnovers, lots of it. Overdose of turnovers. Yes. But you're, you're seeing, you know, turns uh, Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> of course, there's a lot of turnovers going happening right now, but of course you can see the, uh, the Corsairs really feeling that dominant side from, from Bakersfield. Yeah. So they're pretty much underestimating each other at the same time, but it's looking pretty equal, it's looking pretty competitive as well. Yes. Very physical. Especially, especially in the last four minutes of this first quarter. The first six minutes, as you said, it was what? Eight, eight to six, you know? And uh, even, even though the teams didn't score that, that many more points in the last minutes, uh, it was still uh, a, a better game, less turnovers. Exactly, but the cool thing about this game is that one team says something, the other team responds in such a way. You're looking at earlier yes. Suleiman Lamed with the great three-pointer, then it bounces back well, to the Bakersfield response. Remember, though, uh, how misleading that can be, because two weeks ago, when our Corsairs took on the um, West LA, I believe it was, who were only putting out six players, they were tied at halftime before the Corsairs blew the game wide open in the second half. Different mindset probably. Yes, so, so you know, really, it ain't over till it's over. Till it's over. <laughs> J just like what you were saying before. Flores brings the ball up, trying to outrun number 14, Julie Alvera. <laughs> Malamed now with possession. Malamed, more, more of a scoring guard than, than a true point guard. Flores, the Chavez now with the ball, gets it to Mosuseka. Mosuseka putting a move on, oh! And that, that is on Mosuseka. That is a turnover, uh, that is not a good turnover to have. As she assumed, Chester, she assumed that she would have a teammate in the corner when she, when she did not. <laughs> miscommunication there. Yeah. Uh, unless she played with the head coach of the Renegades at some <laughs> point, you know. Well, Althea, I really do want to give a shout out to Bakersfield head coach Paula Dahl for being very energetic. She's pumping yes. up her team and definitely what you really want to need, especially when you don't have yes. the hometown advantage. Going in. 
Goes for the shot. Off the rim. Malamed, good rebound. Rests it away from a renegade player. Oh, oh, I thought she was going to pull up for the shot. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Oh, that would have been, been a great one. Flores, oh, down to oh. Moseseca off the Seca's fingertips. Ah, oh, that is not a very good. Well, no turnover is good, but, but that is a particularly bad turnover because Seca was open and she could have easily laid that ball up if it, if it was a better pass. And that is, that was not a very good shot. Uh, coming out of Angie Kroger. Up to Lauren Davis. Lauren Davis. Lauren Davis, oh no. Unable to hit the shot, cannot bank it in. Nice, nice, nice Euro step. It's already been about 30 seconds. No, no, no score as of now, 30 seconds. A, a minute 30 seconds. A minute 30 seconds? Yeah. 10 minute quarters. And yeah. that is Angie Kroger checking out for these Renegades as the Renegades have the ball. Yeah, Octavia. Octavia Coney. Octavia Coney. Coney. Yep. Jessica Malama, dangerous pass up ahead. Octavia Crony unable to steal it though. Oh my God, Messi Seca didn't even see Caitlin Flores wide open underneath the basket. Th that is something that, that, you know, centers severely lack is court vision, you know? Exactly. Chester, it, it would be like uh, a midfielder, you know, lacking vision. Speed. <laughs> On a soccer field or something. Yeah, speed I, midfielder, yeah. you definitely want to have speed. No, I'm, I'm saying vi vision, vision. You know, like strikers yeah. typically don't have good vision except for, you know, Messi, Ronaldo. Because they're the ones that the passes come to. They exactly. don't pass. Where, where somebody like like uh, Tony Kroos, you know? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm just naming all the players I know at this point. Yeah. Figueroa, smart pass to the corner. Oh, misses the shot. That is Crony with the offensive foul as she tried to go for the rebound. Renegades out and up, six, up now 16, 15 over the Corsairs. Yes. Oh, oh nice steal from Crony as she, she takes it all the way in. Oh, oh my God, she misses the layup. Oh my God, the putback from Wilson That's is missed as well. Another miss. That was not a good, wow. What happened? That's the big question I, right I now. I mean, ultimately on their fourth rebound, they were able to, finish but that 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 was absolutely a uh, horrendous see, layup skills horrendous but keep in mind that also looked bad on the defense with the Corsair still not trying oh, yeah. to not exactly. get that rebound because they assumed they assumed that they would make the first shot and when they didn't they assumed they would make the second one and the third one you can, and nobody ever ran back on defense you can't assume exactly you, should, you, yeah. you have to learn it's already been as Mosuseki is able to hit the shot. Exactly, it's been 13 minutes into the first half and yet the Corsairs need to find a way to really bridge that gap. Yup. Ooh, Kennedy Nielsen hits her first shot from outside. It is a three-pointer. As Bakerfield, Bakersfield is now up by four on the hosting Corsairs. The Renegades. Who keeps texting? Enough of that. Mopping up the floor. Caitlin Flores with the inbound to Lauren Davis. Lauren Davis having a very quiet game so far. I do not think she has scored a single point yet. No, she's, she's had a few already. Points or yeah. rebounds? Uh, points, actually. OK. In the first, in the first quarter, I think she, uh, <laughs> as she As she is fouled, you know, going to the, <laughs> going there to the you hoop. Go and gets to the line. I mean, one way or another. That, that is one of the best ways to break yourself out of a funk, Chester, is to get yourself fouled. You know, as, stra as strange as that sounds. Because the free throw line is the easiest place to score points. And it's unconventional, but that's, it's, yeah. it works. And for shooters, if you can just see the ball go down, just like that perfect free throw from Lauren Davis, then it really, it really gets you going for the rest of the game. Perfect indeed. Can she go for two? 
Uh, I don't know. Can she? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Here we go. Hopefully she does. Called it a foul on that one. As Crony charges to the rim. Oh, I apologize, it was not a foul, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, out, out of bounds, out of bounds. the course is. Oh, Nielsen wide open, why is she wide open? She oh. just hit her last three-pointer. You do not leave somebody open if they have just hit their last shot. Exactly. That's exactly something what you do not do, and, and the Corsairs <laughs> did it. <laughs> exactly what you said, do not Lauren assume. Davis, nice move, she gets by everybody, and she falls to the floor. <laughs> A Chavez, a Chavez with the little hook shot. Lauren Davis with the offensive rebound. What a rebound. A Chavez. Oh, oh unable to hit. Lauren Davis. Oh. I don't know. I really it. thought she was going to get another offensive rebound on that position. Davis is stumbling a yeah. little too much. Nice. With the rebound. Oh, Janae Cole. A Chavez. Cheeky, very cheeky on that one. Fall, yeah. yeah. Cheeky, but if, <laughs> very effective. Yes. And a four-point lead now for the visiting Renegades. Four-point lead largely due to Kennedy Nielsen's two three-point shots. Oh, and another no. three-point shot. <laughs> wow. Coming this time out of... Octavia Crony. Janae Cole, ah, trying to answer back, unable to do it. Mosuseka, beautiful rebound, straight to Kaylin Flores. She, wow, okay, but she gets the rebound. <laughs> and that is Chavez, ah. Chavez, unable to convert. I mean, that was a shot that was wasted and a rebound that was wasted. Yeah. That's what, double what deuce. I, what I didn't like, though, was how um, Mosuseka left. She left the paint, you know. She should have stayed down there just in case that Chavez missed, which she did. Assuming too much on behalf of Corsairs. Yes, they really need to play very, very defensively and offensively to a point where, like, you know what, we're losing the game. I always play like, well, they are technically, but you gotta really play like you're down by like 10 points and really get in there. Malamed. She got really quiet in the past few minutes, but let's see what she can shine out a little bit more. Oh! A bit of a collision, out of bound. Corsair ball. And Janae Cole set to take it out for the Corsairs. Passes it in to Lauren Davis. Back to Janae Cole. Down to Mosasek at the high post. Ah, uh, Mosasek passes it out. I don't think she should have done that. She has very, very clear as Lauren Davis gets fouled, trying to go for a putback off the offensive rebound. Beautiful rebound from Lauren Davis. Right place, right time again. Anyway, back to Mosasek. When she was at the high post and she received that pass, just, just back your woman down. Why pass that out, you know? She has very, very clear height and size advantages I th on almost all of her defenders. I think she's just a little bit too confident in her team, which is good. Uh, too confident in her, in her team? Yeah, okay. that's good. Uh, yeah, have confidence, but definitely that. you really want to step in and really, uh, back, yes. like you said, back them yes. up. Clean up their mess. At what point do you search for your own shot first, you know? Mm -hmm. And I wonder, I wonder how the Corsair practices are going. Uh, are, do they say, you know, Mosuseka has this advantage, should we exploit it? Or do you think that they say, let's get it to our guards and let them shoot the ball? Mm -hmm. And you know, if you get a rebound, you can shoot it. Definitely. Oh, very poor pass. Oh, that was wow. not good at all. Wow. Coming out of Julie Olvera <laughs> as she... As she Football. <laughs> the perfect throws. spiral. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Brady's back again. That would have been a great pass if we were playing football because uh, Nielsen got her foot in balance just like Julio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both head coaches. And Bakersfield leading by four with 4.08 remaining in the first half. Bakersfield 26, Santa Monica 22. As 
as you have your players about to walk it out. See what I did there, Ethan? Yes. As we, as we see some of the men's team, uh, the Santa Monica men's team has remained in the building to cheer on the women. And that's great. And yeah. I, I noticed we do have a bit of a uh, bit of a great crowd. Uh, the last few weeks we had a very minimal crowd, and I like to see that. You know, the people are here also for the women's Corsairs. Yes. It's wonderful to see that same level of Ooh. support. Backcourt violation. Jessica Malamed dribbles it over the line. Unforced error. Well, no, it, it was forced because she was being pressured by Bakersfield defenders. It's nachos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's the jalapenos. Yes. They were good, though. They were good. Kennedy Nielsen, oh. ah, trying for a third shot. I'm going to hit it. Oh, Figueroa. Nice. Nice job. As she hits it off of the Chavez. <laughs> Another cheeky move. Mm-hmm. And Flores coming in. Musa Seca guarding the inbounds pass. The best person to have guarding it. But you have to stick with the player. Ooh, nice oh. dribble move. Oh, Musa Seca with a beautiful steal. Oh, and she's crossover. Oh. I, I think the refs just didn't want to see her dunk it, Chester. I was As she crossed over her, de her defender. I don't know set what, to go straight to the rim. I don't know what's up with the ref. I really wanted to see a dunk. They're just spoiling it for us. <laughs> I, I will say this. I think uh, we got enough in the men's game. You think we got enough? Yeah. I, I don't think so. Maybe not. <laughs> I wanted Are more. you kidding? If, if, if there oh, was a dunk. Oh, my God. How is that? Oh, she. Wow. What had appeared to be an ankle-breaking crossover. Is whistled by the refs as what? a push off. That's too bad. The calls it a row. Foul. She's oh. going to be feeling that tomorrow, though. <laughs> Watching too many vines. Crony goes straight, passes it right back out to the side. Two. Wow. That's the spot you do not want to really just leave it loose out there. That's as three. Rivera swishes it in. From the outside, Bosu Seca that is, very recklessly that is charging three, to the basket. That's already been three three-pointer shots from that same spot. Yes, well, two of them coming out of uh, Kennedy Nielsen. She is now two of five on the night for three. She she has a, a pretty good, uh, actually, she does not have a pretty good three-point percentage. She is only shooting 28% on the year from three. Well, in her Already at 40% tonight. True, but in her defense, keep in mind, she's too comfortable in that area. Therefore, that means that defense is not applying that pressure. There's oh, no blocks. Yes, yes. There's, she, there's none she, of that going on. She's too open. Yes. You know, I, I, I don't care if somebody's a 10% free throw shooter. You don't leave them open. Doesn't matter Three regardless. Points. My bad, not free throw. Lauren Davis, what a rebound. Yeah, but she, she did travel. No good. But she took a little hop step in order to try to get herself free. Tristan Salazar, inbounds pass to Alvera. Back to Salazar, Salazar can't get it in. Ooh, Alvera. <laughs> Puts in the arm. <laughs> Out to Kennedy. Oh. Ooh, Kennedy gets, gets fouled by, I think, by Janae Cole. I am uncertain about that. Yep, by Janae Cole. Musa Seca with some good defense. Good defense negated by your teammate. You know <laughs> that that is disappointing. I, I know, I know, Chester. That when I'm playing basketball at the park, and I'm defending somebody, and and a teammate of mine comes over and they foul him, it's like you know, I, I could handle it. <laughs> and that is what I just saw right there. You have to trust your defenders. You have to trust your centers that they will be there. And yet the Renegades already hitting. 31 over the Corsairs. Corsairs 23 on a scoreboard. Oh. oh! Corsairs finding it very hard to score right now. But a foul is called. Loose ball foul on Tristan Salazar as she pushes. What was that Caitlin for? Flores to the floor. Bit of a intentional. Good. W w weren't there two players having problems earlier? Uh, Caitlin Flores and somebody else. Very, wasn't there? very minor. Very, yeah. It was yeah, a bit yeah. of a collision, okay. you know. Of course, you respond to it very defensively, but yeah. nothing to, nothing to worry about. 
This one just seemed very... <laughs> like there was history behind it. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, clean? No, I... I... Uh, what's legal in soccer? <laughs> yeah. What's legal in soccer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's illegal here. Where, where you can you can fight over the ball almost, you know? And, and grapple with the other person for possession. Mm. As long as you don't tug and pull on any shirts. No, shorts. tugging and pulling, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh! Wait. Oh. Almost a good steal. Somebody clean her shoes. A travel card of the Red Gates. What did you say? Cleaner shoes? Cleaner shoes. You didn't see that one? She just slid like nothing. Oh, yeah. Always oh, stay on your toes. Warren Davis, I wonder when Jessica Malamud will come back in. Oh, and a steal from Nielsen. Ah, she gets the layup. And what was a one-point lead for the Corsairs at the end of the first quarter has turned into a eight-point deficit with 2.12 left ah, in the first half. As Crony dribbles the ball out of bounds, unforced turnover. Those are the turnovers that, uh, that hurt the most, Chester. When you know there was nothing the other team did to turn it over. Most of the second, we have a nice shot. Chester? Yeah. How has the second quarter. Uh, you know what? I'll save that question for halftime. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. In fairness, a lot, is, a lot can be said so far. Yes. Julio Vera with the offensive rebound, unable to convert on the putback. Ooh, and that is clean. The Chavez. Getting the mid range floater. As, oh, a sec, it's just. Crony. Oh. What, what did you see, Chester? I mean, despite her missing that shot, a sec, it just kind of seemed a little. Just, just standing there, kind of confused and lost. Yeah. Was second with the rebound, a very far rebound. Warren Davis, nice catch. Ooh, fights for the rebound. Ah, and she, as she loses it out of bounds, not having a very good game so far. Wamed is back. Despite that, for Flores. Yes. Oh, okay. Should be interesting. <laughs> When you pair up the Chavez with Milamid. The Corsairs have fought back to a four point deficit. Oh, no foul call. Oh, but a wide open. Oh, my God. That's Moses Seca <laughs> in getting the rebound. Oh, knocks <laughs> over. Oh. As we thought they had momentum. Knocks over that, Julio Vera. That and Janae Cole, yeah, immediately loses the ball out of bounds on the other end. I think both running games. Corsairs will have one more shot before the half is over, though. As Crony, oh, oh, and a nice turnover. You want to hold this now. Hold it. You don't want to do that. But she does it anyway. She does it anyway. <laughs> yeah. But you saw what we were talking Chavez, about. Yeah. Easy turnovers on those. You have to relax. Yes. Only reason I say why well, you don't want to do that now is because Bakersfield now has a full shot clock's worth of time to set up their offense and they can hold for a final shot, which they don't do, but you know, uh, Still. it was a possibility. A Chavez, a Chavez going in. Ah, she pulls it back out, Malamed with only three seconds left on the shot clock. Oh, wild, absolutely wild shot coming out of Katya Chavez. Score at the half, 31 to 33, Bakersfield leads. Chester? That first quarter ended with a score of 15 to 14, okay? Uh, so, you know, so, you know, they, they didn't score much better in the second quarter, but what, what changed? What was different? It's a very tough one. I'll be honest with you, it's a very tough one to say. Yeah. I saw kind of similar things. The scoreboard says it all, but it's the way they play. Both teams have been very consistent on being inconsistent, if you get what I'm saying. Yes. A lot of turnovers are happening left and right. Uh, they have to really 
pace it down just a tiny bit. You know, yeah. don't rush it too much. As you can tell, a lot of rebounds are given away too easily. They're throwing the ball to keep possession, go for the rebound. Maybe they don't even try to go for the rebound. They just let the ball go all over the place. So that's, um, I'm seeing two different, I'm seeing similarities between both quarters in the, in the, second, in the first half. Nothing really, Matt, nothing that really stands out to me. Mm. But entertaining, well, though, okay. nonetheless. And we are back for another exciting half, of course, here is basketball. Well, <laughs> my back hurts, which is what... <laughs> <laughs> which is what he heard somebody say, <laughs> because his back doesn't hurt because no. we get living wages. No, that was number yeah. 12, Angie Croker, earlier. My back hurts is one of the words oh, you can hear said that? Oh, across my God. the pavilion. Oh. You can hear it across, but it's fine. She's doing well. She's back in the game. That's great. As we get ready to kick things off. And the Renegades have possession of the ball. Uh, almost a five-second violation. But Nielsen gets it in just in time. Figueroa with possession. She drives on Lauren Davis. Floats it up with the left hand and scores. Good, de good defense from Davis. Better offense from Figueroa. <laughs> you know there's a street called Figueroa. Named Diamond. after the named after the, the Oh, people. did you see that? No, uh, well tell us what happened. <laughs> the ball just twirled around her head. Basically the <laughs> Corsair's Ooh, nice block. Good. But but Corsair's low position. Lose possession. Yeah. And among the twirl, the ball just kinda of rolls out of some, off of someone's head. Wow. In favor of <laughs> the Malamed fouls Nielsen even as Caitlin Flores gets a beautiful block. You were saying about Figueroa? Uh, Named after who? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I just, yeah. Figueroa is a street. I'm sure you know that. Hey, yeah, here, here in Los Angeles, yeah. Named after the family uh, who got a land grant from the King of Spain to come over to California. Mm. Yeah. As Nielsen converts on both of their free throws. You heard it, ladies and gentlemen. Not only is he a basketball expert, he's a, his, <laughs> he's a history geek. I am a man of many talents. That's great, man. None of them I are passing my classes. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke, people. <laughs> Flores, to, oh, to Davis. Seca, Malamed. Seca, out to Malamed. Malamed with the dribble drive, unable to convert. Lauren Davis, what a rebound, though. My God, as she still fights for the ball. And that is, oh, that, that is, that was a smart, smart basketball yeah, was, play right yeah, there. Yeah, I was that was very smooth. <laughs> Julio Vera gets trapped in the backcourt, throws it out of bounds off of, uh, I believe that was a Chavez. Uh -huh. And I do expect the Renegades to pass this into the backcourt. Oh, yep, there we go. The Renegades up by by six points. Olvera with the ball. Olvera having herself, you know, a, a, a nice little year as she is uh, shooting 40 percent, you know, from the field. 25 percent from with the turnover with nine Chavez. points per game. Oh, what a score! Yeah, Davis get the turnover, passes it straight forward to Chavez. Chavez makes the clear shot. Ali, sorry, <laughs> under nice. the undershot. <laughs> Nielsen trying to get something going. She goes with the spin move, beautiful spin move. She steps on the line though and out of bounds. It, it was a very nice move uh, that we just saw out of Nielsen. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> she got blocked. <laughs> yeah, you know. Things happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things happen. You can put all the moves you want on somebody, but if you get blocked, you get blocked. You get blocked. It doesn't matter what you did before that. Refix call. Foul on Julia Vera. Second of the game. Personal second of the game. Was the second receives the pass out at the top of the key. Chavez driving, settles for the pull up Ooh. jumper. Oh, and she buries it. Oh. Battles around the rim. Flores oh. hits the ground. Lauren Davis with a steal. Wow. Nielsen surveying the floor, very nice. She is definitely a player to watch in this game. Ooh.
And we're tied. Corsairs, Renegades, 37 and 37. Corsairs with six quick points. As Lauren Davis leads the offense right now. Ooh, oh. nice handoff. Wow. As she cuts to the basket and scores with ease. And a timeout called for by the Renegades head coach, Paula Dahl. Paula Dahl. Paula Dahl. Not Paula Dean, but <laughs> Paula Dahl. Not Road Dahl, no, <laughs> but Paula Dahl. No. We can keep going. And this song. I don't want to keep going. You don't want to keep going. This song worked. Let's see if both teams can put on extra work. Yes. Of course, Sarah's up by two. Anything can change. And we've yes. seen that before. Things can change very drastically. In this Corsair's game. down six early in this uh, second half. Now up by two. This is a very uh, high scoring team, as, as we both know, Chester. They can put a lot of points on the board very quickly. Yes, indeed. All due to the power of the three ball and Lauren Davis' post moves. LeBron Davis, no kidding. <laughs> Is Chavez, good defense on Nielsen. Nielsen with the crossover. Gets the foul call. Good call, good call. She, you know, got hit on the arm. You have Octavia Crony getting ready to come in. Mm. But for who? For whom? Oh. Oh. Uh, you guys see it? Oh, uh, yes. I do believe I know who she is coming in for. She is coming in for no, Mackenzie Tavoga. Ah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just messing with you. <laughs> Figueroa. Figueroa. Yeah. Playing, trick, playing tricks on me. This yes. guy, this guy. Because yeah. I wear glasses. Who has two thumbs and plays <laughs> tricks on Chester? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Clean. Oh! Almost. Almost a turnover. Most of the second with a very poor pass to Jade Cole. Caitlin Flores, dangerous cross court pass to Lauren Davis. Most of the second wide open in the lane. She passes it out. I don't know why she isn't looking for her own shot right now. The ball off of Jade Cole. Yep. Turnover Corsairs. And see, right there, Chester, is what I'm talking about. Mosuseka had uh, what might have been, you know, the second most open lane we've seen in this game tonight. And she instead chose to toss it out to the corner for a lower percentage shot. If she would have just taken her two steps and put that up, you know, it, w it would have been a lot easier and they would not have gotten that turnover. Exactly. Nice passes, by the way. Crony mishandles it, passes it off to the side. Oh, oh wow. And that is Angie Kroger, the player who... Uh her neck and her back. And that is Lauren Davis finishing strong at the rim with a chance to tie the game at 42. And we're back. What a game it. this is, Chester. It is. We're back at it again where the Corsairs yes. are down by one. Yes, we 42 are. 42 to one. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on, the, <laughs> on screen. On screen, Davis. Lauren Davis hits the shot. Nice job. Kennedy Nielsen, the primary ball handler for this team. As she gets all the way to the rim and lays it up with the left hand. Too easy. There was the defense. Exactly. She literally, uh, she, she, she took the ball from coast to coast. Basically non-existent at this yes. point. That defense was nowhere to be found. <laughs> Excuse our, my co-commentator here, Ethan. Those who suck Coffee. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. And that is a Chavez. I don't know exactly where the foul was, but there was a foul. Shot is given to. Not yet, but it will be given to. Number three, Chavez. Chavez. Hitting one of two. 
Can she go for two? Yes, as she brings the Corsairs to within a point. 5.48 left in this third quarter. Still a lot of basketball to play, Chester. Chavez at the line. Mosuseka back for defense. Ah, and she misses. Ooh, Lauren Davis. Oh, great, great effort by Lauren Davis as she gets the Corsairs another possession. Unfortunately, they cannot convert. Oh, oh my Lauren. God. Okay, okay. <laughs> wow. Bit of a hard stop around that one. She effectively ends the Renegades fast break. Great job. She may not be scoring uh, as much as usual, but she is definitely impacting the game in other ways, Chester. Would agree on that one. Yeah. Crony unable to find an open person. Nielsen with the ball now. Ooh, Nielsen drives on a Chavez. Nobody's there uh, to really help. Chavez comes up with the loose ball. Oh. Janae Cole, ah, pass to Janae Cole is no good. Janae Cole cannot hang on to that, and she loses it out of bounds. Bit of a long ball for her. <laughs> we have Figueroa back in the game, stepping in for number 10. Belen Rivera, freshman. Inbounds pass to Nielsen. Nielsen, very, very unwise oh. cross-court pass. Oh my God, that was that was just an ugly display of passing right there. You might as well have let that go out of bounds for the turnover. Wow. <laughs> uh, but you know, nothing nothing bad happens on that end. So I guess I guess the Renegades are fine. All right. A good offensive rebound from Flores. Flores fouls McKenzie. <laughs> and McKenzie is very animated. McKenzie Tevelde. How do you pronounce that name, Chester? Tevelde. Tevelde? Tevel, tevel tevel or Tevelde? Tevelde. Do you think it's Spanish? I don't know. Tevelde. Tevelde. I don't want to. I can say that. I'm you, Latino, so we put a lot of emphasis on our in the middle of the word. Yes. Tevelde, you know. Tevelde. No, I have no idea. Okay. Oh. Exactly. Out of bounds off Mosuseka. Mosuseka. Good job breaking up that play. You have Octavia Cronin coming off. And who replaces her? Figueroa? Julie Figueroa. Figueroa. Vera. Julie Overa. Oh, Overa replaced yeah. her. Oh, yes. My, my mistake, Chester. Thank you. That is why we oh. pay you the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. No, Zero. I, I get school credit, man. <laughs> it's worth enough. Not for this. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> I hope so. Put this in your reel. Maybe you'll get a job off of this. You I know? Don't know. We'll, we'll see. Know. We'll see. Long pass. Nielsen at the top of the key. Oh, okay. I don't know why they took that shot. Oh, blocked by Mosuseka. Mosuseka, great block. Oh, Mackenzie Tavada is Mackenzie comes up holding the nose. She got hit in the nose by. I, I, I don't know who it was. I think it was Lauren Davis. Accidentally, of course. No, it was. And that is Kroger. Seca, we'll ah, it. with a bad shot. Seca well, no, no, no. Se Se Seca blocked her. No, she, but she also made the shot. No, I'm saying oh, Mackenzie it was holding her nose. Somebody hit her in the oh, nose. Oh, okay, okay, that's what you Lauren Davis hit her in the nose. Got it. It is not affecting her right now. There's no blood, no blood, no foul, Chester. <laughs> Just so you know. Oh, well, for future reference. <laughs> Nice save by Mosusek. Way to hustle. Where's that Figueroa defense? out on the break. McKenzie, ah, and she easily lays it up and in. That was a three on one. Fast break for the Renegades. Where's that they defense? go back up by one point. Exactly. That three defense minutes. needs to drop fast. 34 seconds left in this third quarter. Katya Chavez set to check back in. As Malamed tries for a three, oh. nothing but air on that, unfortunately. A great rebound from Janae Cole. Oh! oh. That ball does not want to go in. Yeah, nice try from Flores. Unable to convert, though. Nice. Nice move from Overa. As, wow, as Nielsen tries for and hits another three. That's her third three of the night, Chester. Exactly, that Corsair back line defense is just not being as effective as we thought nope. it would be. Not at all. 
Mosuseka wide open underneath, but nobody seems to see her. Malame, oh. ah, good Euro step, unable to convert with the, the righty layup. She should have put that up with her left, but you know. Oh, and back with she the has a left. With the recovery. Nielsen tries for another three. Can she bank it? No, she can't. Okay. And the ref on the complete other side of the play made that call. That is something that uh, Chester irks me. Not, not a whole lot, but a little bit, you know? When the ref that is farthest removed from the play makes the call, you know? It should be the refs who are right next to it. Maybe but that was not the case here. As uh, the head coach for the Renegades calls a timeout. It's very, very unfocused <laughs> referees, I say so. But if anything, sometimes with the defense for the Corsairs nearly needs to step it up. But she know with the fast break. You have the Renegades getting too comfortable. That's why those shots are going in, in, in like nothing. As you can tell, we have, it is a four point lead at this point. See what I did there? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> We have the visiting Renegades, 49, Corsairs, 45. Can the Corsairs bounce back? Bounce back, sorry, Bucks. Well, we're gonna cash it in later on. Yes. But, of course, can the Corsairs bounce back into the game? Most likely, yeah. We've seen it back and forth, but where does it stop? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I, I do not know where it stops. <laughs> I'm yeah, asking you now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> where does it stop? It stops here. <laughs> yeah, yes, it stops yes, here. Yes, it does. <laughs> Keep in mind, one thing I really want to point out is that Corsairs kind of had an uh, unfair disadvantage despite them winning and really completely, completely devouring the past few opponents. Like, you know, we said earlier, the past few opponents were very, you know, not not really great, you know, yeah. on, on the, on, of course, in terms of records and everything. But this is a whole different team. Do you think the Corsairs might have gotten too comfortable with that, with that mentality, that they're facing easy teams? Oh, of course. You know, when, you, when you're beating up, your opponents and you're you're destroying them absolutely destroying them what what was the game two weeks ago it was like 46 points 46 46 points, points exactly that that your corsairs you know that 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 these santa monica women corsairs absolutely destroyed their opponents with and before that i think it was 36 exactly points. so th it, they, they might have come off the, the locker room thinking that oh yes, it's gonna be another yes. easy game no now, what, what was the game like last week I think about 36 points. 36 points? You know, when you're when you're blowing out opponents by combined, you know, 40 points, what happened? That's going to go to Renegades on that one. Sorry. Yep, Renegade ball. Well, Turnover. What, what happened, Chester? Out of bounds. Say it. Okay. It was an out of bounds player. Sorry, play. <laughs> yeah. But you, so, you know, uh, to answer your question, uh, in the short time we have left, Oh, uh, as the three is tried for and missed by Rivera. Lots missed of air. Missed badly, yeah, yeah. I can breathe if, now. If the point of basketball was to miss the shot, <laughs> uh, they would be winning. <laughs> They're uh, winning. Well, they already are winning, <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> yeah, oops. <laughs> oops. <laughs> got the Corsairs bouncing back up. They got 47 down on the table. Yeah. Three more, and they can take it over with a nice rip-through move. Drives across the lane. Oh, 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 and a bank three for Rivera. Wow. Rivera. 53. Rivera. Rivera. Yeah. With the tres puntos points on and the tabla. A six oh, point so. lead for the Renegades as uh, the, the point guard, Kennedy Nielsen, for the Renegades hits the ground hard. She looks like she's all right, but she. Bit of a limp. Is, yeah, she is limping some. Oh. Bit of a collision here, as fighting for the ball. Yeah. Yeah, Flores. And Tristan Zalazar busted the UFC over the ball. Rolling over. The foul is awarded to Renegades. As a uh, rare appearance from Thor, uh, brightens our day with thunder and lightning. No. <laughs> God of Thunder. You actually looked here. Like, I, I, I was there. Yeah. Like, like, who are you talking about? <laughs> I got to look up, man. It's sunny California. It's raining all of a sudden. Yeah. Thor, our statistics expert, the guy who uh, oh. gets all the statistics for us. Quality guy, man. I'm just <laughs> kidding. That's me. <laughs> I get all the statistics. Renegades making it you better 54. Cut this out, <laughs> Renegades making it 54 now. 
Ahmed dribbles around the top of the key, can't find anything. Caitlin Flores, pretty good defense as the Renegades recover. Oh, Mosuseka loses the ball, bad pass. Figueroa oh. throws it ahead. Flores, wow, tried to steal it, no go. Janae Cole comes in from the backside though. Wow, what a scrum down there. As Janae Cole had a, had a, had, she had the steal. She had possession of the ball and she had the steal. But Julie Olvera, fighting for it, rips it from her. And possession error. Oh, okay. And they immediately, they immediately negate all of that good work <laughs> with a travel. It happens. An unforced turnover. What did I say earlier, Chester? Do you slightly remember? What did you say? Unfor <laughs> I like that. What did you say? <laughs> what did you say? No. Unforced turnovers hurt the most. Yep. Hurt, hurt you the most. Not, not the team, but, but you the player. You're the player. Because oh, you work. know. Exactly. You know it didn't have to happen, but it did. When you let it happen, and when it happens, don't do it. Don't let it happen again. Chavez. Chavez at the line for two. Corsairs up by seven. Ah, no. Now they're up, uh, up by seven, down by seven, now down they're by down six. by six, yeah. <laughs> I wish they were up by seven, yeah. And this, oh, something I just realized, Corsairs uh, are missing a lot of players they that they had actually, a yeah. couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the reason for this is, Chester? I don't know, actually. You don't know? Okay, that would be a good thing to find out uh, before we come back for the fourth quarter. So we will get you that, that information, folks, when we come back for, this, uh, for the start of the fourth quarter. And I Figueroa drives, ah, uh, not a very good pass to McKenzie. My mistake, Kroger, as Kroger hits the ground hard. Did you, did you notice that the two officials had different um, calls, actually? Yes, so yes. it's like, I, I, who was right on that, that, that one? That does happen occasionally in the NBA, yeah. and who? when it does happen, they will confer at center court and say, this is what I saw, this is what I saw. Let's go with you, you know? Corsair. What happened, Chester? Corsair with a shot at Chavez, going in for the shot. A Chavez it, made the a Chavez Chavez made it? Okay. Oh, oh, what a rebound by Kroger. Oh, wow, and wow. she gets it off right at the buzzer. I, I, they haven't counted it yet. I don't know if they're actually going to count that shot. And we are back for the start of the fourth quarter as your Corsairs down now by five to the visiting Renegades. What did I tell you? How is your back doing, Chester? Pretty good. Air uh, hurts. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Just these bleachers, man. Okay, and a little bit of confusion on the sidelines uh, as... Oh, nope, that is my mistake. There is no confusion there. <laughs> Just the SMC men's <laughs> basketball players huddling up right by the inbounds play. I know. They just want to get all the attention. Yeah. Oh! As Caitlin Flores, this has got to be like the sixth time Caitlin Flores has hit the floor. I don't know what's wrong, man. She's listening to, uh, what's that one song? Let the bodies, you know that one song, right? <laughs> no. No, <laughs> <I'm> kidding. <laughs> that was, her, that do, was, do, yeah, that was yeah. a warm-up song yeah. before the game. Figueroa with the shot. Ah, has not been having a good shooting night tonight. She does have one three, though. Figueroa with the odd shooting motion, but hey, you know, Reggie Miller had an odd motion and he was he was one of the best shooters of all time. <laughs> as long as you make it work for you. Nielsen? Oh, Nielsen unable to hit. Everybody stares the ball down except for Flores. Flores, Flores wastes Ooh. her dribble. Oh, okay, timeout, SMC. Head coach Lydia Strong calling for that timeout. Uh, it, it, was, it was a good call, you know, she, she got her out of a jam. Even though Flores was able to get out of it herself and pass the ball to an open girl, uh, Coach Strong did not know that she, that she saw that, you know? But it's all good. Definitely you want to kill some time. Well, not in this case, you're not killing time, but you really want to have that breathing room. Think of a plan. You're down by five points. What can you do in the next nine minutes? And 18 seconds. <laughs> to be exact. <laughs> well, let's, let's look at something here, Chester. Uh, I believe that for the Santa Monica Corsairs to win this game, 
they have got to get the ball into the paint, okay? I, I don't care who takes the shot in the paint, you know? You've been hearing it from me all night that I want Moses Seke to take more shots, okay, in the paint. Chavez. Oh, with the swish. That's a great three-point shot. Good one. It's been a good while. <laughs> okay. And right as I say get the ball in the paint, they make a three-pointer. They make a three-pointer yeah, right yeah, yeah. there, man. That adds two, sorry, three on the course there. Scoreboard making it 54, still under two. And a jump ball called for the smallest girl out there, a Jessica Malamed, fighting for control with Mackenzie Tavelade. And possession arrow uh, belonged to the Corsairs that time, so they get possession. <coughs> if they throw that wet towel on those cords, what is it? You have the Renegades coach just preaching. She's really apping up her players. Preaching? What? what? She, she, she just said, did she actually say Bible verses? No. Oh, okay, okay. no, man. She just said uh, she's not. She doesn't care what the team has to do as long yeah. as we make sure we keep the ball to ourselves and score more Ooh. points. Loud and clear. <laughs> Head coach <laughs> Paul Dahl. When you said preaching, I literally thought. <laughs> oh, come on, this. man. <laughs> girls, girls. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I did not know Bakersfield was a Christian school. No, no thou shalt pass the ball. <laughs> <laughs> thou shalt take efficient shots. There you go. What are the Ten Commandments oh, of basketball? Fair call. Yeah, I, I, and I noticed this a lot, Chester, is um, that ball was, was off of Figueroa, okay? But the reason why the oh. ref is Figueroa hits a beautiful three, that's her second three of the night. The reason why the referee called that ball uh, for possession of the Renegades was because Mosuseka fouled her. She, she ran into Figueroa, and instead of calling the foul, she just gave him the possession. In soccer, we like to call it. Figueroa, ah, hits the rim on the way up, unable to finish the shot. She is hustling back, though. Oh. Jessica Malamed, unable to handle the pass. Ta settles instead for the mid-range. And Figueroa, who ran all the way back from her miss layup, Got, got the defensive. And that is Janae Cole. Ooh, Janae Ooh. Cole. Overshot. Unable to hit. <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> it's not a foul, though, so, you know, she'll take that. Lauren Davis back in the game. That's what she can bring. With just seven minutes and 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Mm. Oh, 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 Jessica Malamed, beautiful steal. She comes out of nowhere to get that. Exactly, wow. the Narcao from out of nowhere. Yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Well, yes. similar to that. That would have been cool, though, to be honest. <laughs> What's this? That's that's the Undertaker's music. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? That's Lauren Davis with the steel chair. <laughs> oh, oh, Lauren Davis with the active hands, unable to get anything out of it though. Mackenzie with the. Uh, I thought it was going in. Right on the shot. Yeah, yeah, it looked <laughs> like it went in. Most of second, nice handles. Oh, and she outruns Figueroa. But, oh, wow, okay. She, Sega has had her moments, but this has not been yeah. her game. It's not her night. Yeah. But, you know, every, every person has a bad day at the office. Yes. Well, and here I am saying Chavez? that I want her to shoot more, you know. So it, it really is uh, interesting to hear oh. you say that. Bit of a collision there. As Flores, Flores ties up Crony. Ooh, we should see that. Her, yeah. her hands just all over. Horrible pass coming out of Kroger as she turns the ball over. Seven minutes left in the game. Corsair is down by five. <laughs> the ball <laughs> hit part of the uh, crew equipment. <laughs> mm. She be on alert. Chavez. Oh, nice pass from Flores. Lauren Davis in the corner. Double team. Passes it right back out. Smart play. Chavez drives. Blocked by... Wow. <coughs> Blocked by Kroger, wow. <laughs> you okay there? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 
Nielsen. Figueroa with the ball at the top of the key, guarded by Malamed. That should be easy. Take it. Oh, nice move. Oh, nice pass. Wow. As she gets it down to McKenzie with a beautiful no look pass. Cavelli. McKenzie finishes, of course. Yeah. Kenzie almost comes up with the steal as Chavez passes it to Mosuseka. Mosuseka hits the floor in order to keep possession. Nice hustle coming out of Seca. Yeah. Ah, Lauren Davis with the right hand, scooping it up and in. 56-61, five-point lead. Renegades have over the Corsairs. Ooh, nice defense from Mosuseka. Again, though, all this good defense isn't getting them anywhere because they're not generating uh, real turnovers off of it. The counterattacks are just... Oh! oh! Wow. As Jessica Malamed... Wow. I, I don't know exactly how they hit the floor if... I, I believe... If, if she stepped on her foot? That's what happened. If, okay. Well, Jessica Malamed was... They're both facing in the same direction. Yes. And Malamed, of course, being a little shorter, she stepped on her foot, fell back, both fell at the same time. But um, Malamed, Malamed had, the, just had, had the order... Face planted right into the floor. Yeah. You hope she's all right. Harder the athletic impact. trainer out there. Hopefully she's doing well. Yes. The athletic trainer putting her hand on her lower back. Oh, okay. She's... She's sitting up now. Definitely want to take her time to rush it. Yeah. So crowd cheers. Great job, nonetheless. Jessica Malamed walking off the court. Ooh. Definitely have to go get inspected. It was a hard fall. Yes. <coughs> Foul awarded to Corsair. Take the shot, number 22. I do believe if the player who got fouled cool. is unable to take their free throws, then the uh, other coach can pick who to take the, the free throws instead. And Coach Paula Dahl has elected for Janae Cole. Cole. <sighs> Janae Cole misses the first shot, however. Mm. SMC still down five to the visiting Renegades. Janae Cole, ah, swishes the second one. Very nice shot, Janae. Two for two. Hey, oh, the, the speed and intensity the Renegades are bringing. Will it go in? No good. Out of bounds, <laughs> off of the Corsairs, as two Corsairs go for the rebound, not realizing that, that you know, they were on the same team. Flores has to really be awake on this one. Two, open. Oh, mm -hmm. Mackenzie, oh, nice move. She is double teamed. I don't know why she took that shot. She, uh, you know, she misses, understandably. Double dribble from Janae Cole. Janae Cole not having, you know, a, a spectacular game. But she, she, she is still playing significant minutes here uh, because of the absence of players on the Corsair side, which I just realized, uh, we never found out why they were missing. So, you know. <laughs> it, uh, it's all yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. We will bring you that information uh, towards the end never. of the game. No, never. <laughs> yeah. Hope so. At the end of the game. Yeah. End of the game. Write it down in the memo. Ooh, Katya Chavez. Oh, unable to hit the up and under. And that is Crony out on the break. Crony surveying the floor. Off to Nielsen in the corner. Nielsen drives. Oh, she loses wow. the foul. No foul call because there was no foul. It's as simple as that. Janae Cole oh. with the pass. Wow, wow. to Mosuseka. Mm. <laughs> Mosuseka unable to convert on the easy, probably one of the easiest layups you know she's ever seen in her life. She's not focused. Outside of the layup line. Yeah, not her game. And uh, towels being thrown about the floor. <laughs> the referee cleaning up a spot. This crowd gets really quiet. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're right. It got really usually quiet. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> Let's all watch the referee clean up this. It's spectacular. Yeah, it's yeah, great yeah. footwork by the referee. Beautiful form. <laughs> yes. He really gets his knee grease in there. Instead of elbow grease, knee grease. <laughs> you and your... <laughs> <laughs> they hire you for this? Cody fakes and drives. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. And she travels. Travels. Turnover Renegades. Four minutes and 12 seconds left in the final quarter, the fourth quarter. That's right. Who, which team has the sharper blade? The Corsairs or the Renegade Knights? Find out. The sharper blade. Yes. <laughs> the sharper blade. The hosting Corsairs down by six points. Most of second. Oh, oh yeah. as, she, as she receives the pass and lays it up and in. She didn't oh, touch the ball at go. all, but half a second on that. And that, what what was the call there? Uh, jump ball called, okay. Yep, that's that, that, I'm on that. that one, yes. That is the Corsair ball. Just take the shot in my opinion at this yeah. point. You're Three wide minutes, open. 48 seconds left. Figueroa set to check back in for the Renegades. Oh. Figueroa has had herself a nice little game so far. Flores trying to pressure. Yeah, being very uh, it does not work. It's now a four on three. Oh, a four on three, and that is number 14, Julie Alvera, getting all the way to the rim. She does not hit the shot, but she does get the foul call. At the line. 14, Alvera. Oh, good. Figueroa's back, mm -hmm. stepping in for number 23, Octavia Crony. And it's good. And for, you know, the majority of the fourth quarter, this game has been hovering around five, six points, a five, six point lead for the Renegades. And it's not gonna get any, any lower if if the if SMC keeps turning it over like that, Chester. It's not good. Figueroa tries to drive by Davis. Oh, oh she no. does it though. Wow. Wow. Too, too easy. I you think Lauren Davis. that happen if you're Lauren Davis. Yeah, Lauren, I think she just gave her the, the chance, the opportunity. She yeah. gave it away. What was happening in her mind? Moses Seca taking a oh. three. Oh, she does not hit it. That that is not that is not her spot. You know, uh, Chester, when Marcus and I did this around five, six weeks ago, we we had a game where Mosuseka scored 10 straight points, hit like three threes. It was absolutely incredible. And she's never played the same way since. <laughs> <laughs> you have a visiting team, the visiting Renegades, up by nine points, 68 to 59. How much time is left? Woo, not many, <laughs> how much time? We got two minutes and 24 seconds, 23, and it just keeps going down. Very nice. Not enough time. Corsairs need to pull something out of their sleeve. Kroger calling for the pick. Pass is down to McKenzie. That was right. McKenzie, uh, I don't know where the foul was. I don't see it either. I think yeah. the ref might have misread that, that play. I, I totally think he misread that play. But it did again. What can you do? The call has been made. More breathing room for the Corsairs on that one. Uh, what? Room to breathe oh, on that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. B because she missed it. She yeah, missed yeah, it, yeah. Sorry. I, I thought you meant uh, breathing room for the Renegades. Oh, yeah, oh. Yeah. I was like, no, she missed it. <laughs> she missed it. Now yeah. it's, ten, it's a 10 point lead. Corsairs exactly. are down by 10 With points. 2 11. This, this is still, oh my God. What an absolutely uh, I am horrendous I turnover. Think I, I think we're winning Corsairs. We're witnessing the Corsairs just fall apart at this yes, point. Yes, exactly. As Caitlin Flores throws the ball out of bounds. Bakersfield, you know, I really wasn't, uh, I, I, I knew how, how good this team was, but I really wasn't expecting them to win today because I felt that the Corsairs had too many options. And tonight, you know, none of them showed up. 
and there was no injuries. Yep. We're looking at last week, the last couple of weeks, and not even pre more weeks previously. prior to this game, we had a full bench. Let's do so. That is Figueroa dribbling out the clock. Nielsen pulls it back out, surveys the defense. Not really much to survey at this point. They're already up by 10 with a minute 30 left. It's going to take a Herculean effort for the Corsairs to come back from this. Oh, good defense. Oh, good defense. Rosa Seca <laughs> gets the ball. Figueroa fouls her. I don't know why there wasn't a foul called. Okay, there we go. She, she did effectively stop the fast break. I, I will give her that. Lauren Davis off to Caitlin Flores. Caitlin Flores passes it to Jessica Malamet. I wouldn't be surprised if she, okay. Uh, foul on the floor, Jessica Malamet. Ball out of bounds for the Corsairs. That's a third personal foul. For number 14, Octi sorry, Julie Alvera. Mm, Julie Alvera. Alvera. Have you ever been to Alvera Street? It's Olivera. No, is it Olivera? Ol it, it, it is Alvera. I, I used to think it was Plaza Alvera. Alvera as well. Plaza Alvera. Yeah. Ah, Plaza Alvera. Alvera. Ah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the point is, have you been there? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple times. It, it's nice. Yeah. Nice little area. Uh, downtown LA actually has a beautiful uh, open air farmer's market. They do? Yeah. Oh! Push. Malamed being Malamed pushed. hits the ground. Being pushed by number 14, uh, Julio Vera. Lauren Davis tries for a three. Oh, oh. unable to hit. Oh. Rebound. Huh. Rebound, SMC, great rebound. The Figueroa comes up with the ball, absolutely taking it away from Katya Chavez. Passes it off to McKenzie. McKenzie passes it off, uh, passes it up ahead, my mistake. That's already been a minute. And yes, exactly. Yeah. And that is a Chavez fouling to get possession back. And I do believe that uh, that this will seal it. I do, um, you know, I do not think Chester, you should play the foul game if the Corsairs do not get a three on the other end, an immediate three. We're looking at an 11 point lead. But Julie Alvera coming up big, hits the first free throw, making it an 11 point game. Now a 12 point game. Three for two. That's a 12 point lead over the Corsairs. Jessica Malamed, nice move, floater in the lane. Oh, and she puts it up and in. 40 seconds left. Uh, you cannot let any time go off the clock if you're trying to play the foul game. Malamed doesn't, good on her. <laughs> Sorry, 11 point lead, I, I said Say 12. What I oh, said 12 yeah. point lead. Well, it, it used to be. It was a 12 point lead until Malamed hit that shot. No good. The smiles on the Renegades. <laughs> Feel like they, they won the game. Yes. Basically. And while it is not over yet, uh, you know, they would need some Tracy McGrady 13 points in 35 seconds. Exactly. Type stuff to win oh. this game. Overshot. Oh, Mosu second with the rebound. Oh, and she puts it up and in. It's now an eight-point game with 20. You have to foul. Why aren't they fouling? That was not, wow. <laughs> you have to foul in that situation immediately. Keep working with head coach Bakersfield, Paul Dahl, yells it. That was absolutely horrible. Good though, good. <laughs> that, that she missed the shot, yeah. And now, uh, you know, I would consider using a timeout to advance the ball up the court. She misses both free throws. Offensive rebound from, from Kroger. Putting the Renegades back on the line exactly where you don't want them to be.
Yeah, yeah, I, I get you. <laughs> And that is Julie Olvera on the free throw line. That will live forever online, Chester. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Shout out to one of our spectators. Mm -hmm. One of our biggest fans. <laughs> Where's my money, Chris? No. <laughs> Oh. oh, we never talked to Gail. It's fine. About this game we're watching. No, <laughs> Jessica Malamed pulls up. Ah, she cannot convert. Just 10 points left and in the that, clock. that is game. You might as well just wrap it at this point. Yeah, exactly. 10 seconds left, a nine point game. I do believe that will wrap it up. Not even Reggie Miller could bring the Corsairs back from this. Because that answers the Be question. Because he had the eight points in nine seconds. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I guess this will answer the question. I guess the, the Renegade Knights have the sharper blade. <laughs> That's right, guys. I got more punts coming their, your way. Their swords were not curved. They're not like curved the enough. Corsairs, yeah. yeah. We need more. We need better blacksmiths. <laughs> Swordsmiths, we need better ones. Yes. Who can wield a sword better? I do believe in a real fight. A pirate would beat a knight, however. <laughs> no. But nice more tactical. Oh my god. <laughs> and just to add insult to injury. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Mackenzie to Velda with the rebound put back. Padding her stats one last time. As the Renegades take it 74 to 63. Chester? Well, it, obviously the game could have been better, but yes. for what it was, it was really good. Very, very equal game despite the differences on the on, you know, those point differences, but it, overall it was one heck of a game. Score line, yes. you have 77 to 63, sorry about that. Sorry, 74, sorry about that. 74 over 63. Corsairs yes. get to lose today, unfortunately. But you know what, like I said earlier, everyone has a bad day at the office. Yep. It's okay, learn from the mistakes. Learn from it, and let's see what we can do. But of course, like I said earl exactly. earlier again. And what had been a, a two-point uh, deficit at halftime turned into a 11-point deficit at the end there. Really a nine-point deficit because McKenzie, you know, made that final shot. <laughs> well, folks, there you have it. Unfortunately, your Corsairs lost to the visiting Bakersfield Renegades. Uh, the Corsairs, uh, <laughs> they don't improve. They do the opposite of improving, Chester. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and they fall to five and one in conference play. Chester, uh, for a game that was... You know, the Corsairs were up by one point at the end of the first quarter, 15 to 14, and only down by two at halftime. What happened here? Well, of course, one point doesn't make a difference, really, honestly. But, of course, you're looking at, um, sorry, the, <laughs> the Renegades coming on top of the Corsairs, 74 to 63. Uh, that says a lot. And, of course, you saw, you both and I agree on this. The Corsairs pretty much fell apart the last yep. five minutes of the game. Yes. There was no composure. Yes, they did. So they just kind of just collapsed on their own. So yeah. uh, it's, unfortunate, it's an unfortunate loss. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about the collapsing more, though, Chester. The they were doing a lot of that during the game. <laughs> yeah, it was a very physical game. A lot of yes. players falling, falling yeah. left and right, up and down. It was, <laughs> I want to say it was intense, but a lot yes. of that was happening, though. Uh, for, for, for <laughs> it, it, was not, it was not a very uh, good game, you know, for those of you watching who, who don't know a lot about basketball. Way too many turnovers. Uh, way too many bodies hitting the floor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. That's yeah. all. That's pretty much my take for the whole game. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Chester. For Chester Menjavar, I am Ethan Uptike. Good night. Thank you for joining us tonight. <laughs>